and keep that vibe from us down. You at the ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm testing out a new product, and I'm really quite excited about it. It's called the X-Clear Pro Repel Hydrophobic Protector, and I've got it fitted to my GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now, they also do this for the Hero 5 Session, the Hero 5 Black, the Hero 6 Black, and the Hero 7 Black, and I've had good results with the Hero 5 Session mounts too. So, um, yeah, I'm quite excited about this product, and what I've done to make a nice fairish experiment, as good as I can, is I've rigged two GoPro Hero 8 Blacks to my crash helmet next door to each other on exactly the same settings. The one on the left has no lens protector on it, and the one on the right has the X-Clear protector. Now, to keep the um, experiment fair and stuff like that, I did not wipe either lens for the whole duration of the ride, and I was out for about 40-45 minutes or so. It was a pretty gruddy day, but not absolutely tipping it down, but it was very wet and there was a lot of spray on the road, especially when I was near other vehicles. And uh, as you can see from the video, there is quite a lot of water in the air still. As a motorcyclist in the UK, it's nearly always raining, <laughs> or at least you would think so from uh, the stereotypes, uh, but this time of year it is definitely raining an awful lot and we've seen so much water fall out of the sky. It's really unfair, Australia could have done with a lot of that water. But it's what it is. And if you want to carry on riding this time of year, and you like video in your ride, you've got to do something, or else you're either continuously wiping your camera screen, which is a little bit annoying, or you've got a rubbish video um, with bad quality and you can't see anything. So yes, these lens protectors, they really are quite an exciting product. Now, this was my first time doing this experiment to actually see back to back how the cameras would react so I am seeing this as you are seeing this kind of sort of and I'm amazed actually at how much of a difference it makes you get so much more bubbling and uh, pooling on the lens without the protector on it now the protector doesn't seem to take away all of the water you still get in droplets on there but they're much smaller and they sort of disappear quite quickly um, the trouble is is that it's constantly being attacked by more but you can see so much more detail in the video and that is great, that's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted it for. I also think that when I do my off-roading that this is going to be really really handy and going to make a massive difference to the quality of the footage that I can put out for that too. So it's a double whammy bonus for me as I am planning on using the GoPro Hero 8 Blacks on my off-road lid too soon. One thing that these can't do is magically change the speed limits to allow you to ride a little bit faster, which would help both situations. It would help the camera without the lens protector on it and the one with it, because with speed you get extra wind pressure and that would help clear the uh, lenses. But they've done a good job and it, to be honest, even the one on the left, it's, it's not awful, but it's certainly not as good as the one on the right with the X-Clear hydrophobic screen lens protector on there. So as you can see from this, I'm quite impressed and I think the results are pretty self-explanatory that it is a pretty good little device. It's a little good, it's a good addition to your camera. It's going to make your videos better quality, certainly in the UK or any other countries where it rains quite a lot or you're in just a wet environment. You might be yachting or something like that, so these would be definitely a must for that. Now I don't think they're going to disperse dirt as such, so you are still going to need to wipe your lens. Xclear do say in the instructions that you should give it a little wipe with one of the uh, screen wipes that comes with it periodically. I don't think that's hugely feasible when you're out riding, uh, so a leather glove will have to do. I guess you've just got to make sure that you've not got any grit or anything on your gloves when you do that, because otherwise you could scratch it. But it is a hardened lens protector. So it's not just hydrophobic, it is a lens protector in itself as well, so it should help reduce scratches as well. And with the GoPro standard lens non-removable on the 8 Black, uh, yeah, it's something you do want to consider, especially if you do go into a sort of more harsh environment like I do when I take the bikes off-road. Right, I'm now going to go through how to fit the lens protectors to your camera. I'm not going to go through how to fit every single one of the uh, the covers that comes with the pack. It comes with three. It comes with one for the actual camera lens, another one for the rear, for the screen, and it comes with one for the front screen too. I'm just going to put the ones on the front screens, and it's the same process for the rear one. Uh, I've not actually fitted the rear one to my camera in this instance because I don't need it. Um, yeah, the back of this camera is always going to be protected anyway, so yeah, I don't really think it's 
going to be something I'm going to require. Although on my dirty bike, Hero 8 Black, I will be putting the uh, protector on the back too, just in case it gets ripped off my helmet for some reason and uh, you need that extra bit of protection. Anyways, I hope you find this instructional video on how to fit it quite helpful. It's only going to be a short little explanation of how you do each bit and it, again, like this, it's going to be a voiceover. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I'll put links down to where I got the X-Clear products from, but um, yeah, you'll have to check if they do them for your cameras, but they definitely do them for all of mine, except for my 360 ones. So X-Clear, if you watch this video and uh, you're developing a product for the 360 cameras, I would really, really love it if you got in touch with me and let me know what products you've got that will help me out there. Anyways, this isn't funded, supplied or anything like that by XClear. I bought these products. I like to rave about products I enjoy and like and think are worth people buying with their own money. And the better way of doing that is to buy one with my own money. And then say it's good in a little video like this. Anyway, here's how I installed the lens protectors onto my GoPro Hero 8 Black. How to install the XClear Pro Repel Hydrophobic Protector on the GoPro Hero 8 Black. The camera needs protection on the rear screen, the front screen and the lens. You can get screen protectors for the Hero 5 Session, which covers just the front screen, the Hero 7 Black, which has a lens protector, a screen protector and a rear screen protector. In the pack you get an alcohol wipe, some dust removing strips, A little cleaning cloth, the lens protector, the rear screen protector and the front screen protector. To fit the main lens protector you need to use the alcohol wipe to clean up any residue of slime, grease, oil and all that sort of stuff off the main lens of the camera. Give it a good little wipe, make sure you've got all the dust out of all the cracks and stuff. Then use the cleaning cloth to dry off any of the moisture from the alcohol. Then take the lens cover, the lens protector, and use the tab to remove the film covering the sticky side. Peel that bit off and throw it away. Make sure that you do not touch this side of the lens. You need to turn it over and line it up with the corners of the camera lens. If it's lined up properly, you shouldn't need to push down on it. I just used my finger there just to ensure it was on the right place of the camera lens. And then once it's dropped down, all the air from underneath it should disperse and it will stick down. Then use the cleaning cloth just to squidgy it out. If you get any air bubbles, be sure to try and push them out from underneath the lens protector as otherwise that could distort your footage at a later date. Use the alcohol wipe to clean off the front screen, making sure to get any dirt out from around the edges and again use the cleaning cloth to dry off any excess alcohol. With the front screen protector this is a very flimsy bit of plastic and it's hard to tell which way round it is so when you peel it off, make sure you're peeling off the correct side and not throwing away the bit that's the hydrophobic bit. Again, try not to touch the, uh, s the rear side of this little lens, this little cover, and just place it over the square of where the screen is. Again, you don't need to push it down. Once it drops on, all the air should fall away from underneath it providing it is in the correct location. And then just squeegee out with the cleaning cloth to make sure there's no air bubbles underneath it. 
On this camera, I didn't bother fitting the rear lens protector. I don't need it for the application I'm going to be using. All you need to do is make sure you keep them clean and they should be grand. They should last you a while. Now, XClear do several different versions. You've got the version I've got on here, which gives you a lot longer guaranteed protection. They also do um, a, a different one for a shorter period of guaranteed protection or something along those lines which is a bit cheaper um, and they do them for the various different cameras. Anyhow, I hope you found this interesting, informative and useful and all that sort of stuff. If you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button. It would be great to have you come back for some more. As you will have heard, I do various different motorcycle activities. So um, yeah, if that's your thing, you might enjoy some of my content. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, you can always give it a little thumbs down. That's all cool, all cool in the school. But whatever you do, please do drop in a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Anyhow, if you ride, ride safe. Take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Keep that one from a side down. Yeah, you know, you got to keep that five from a side down.